Okay, let's talk about naming files from a designer's perspective. So this isn't some grand naming convention scheme, but this is sort of my tips for how to name files better and work on a team or find things, be able to search through things, be able to have great SEO through Google, or just to be able to make it easier on yourself to save time when editing the file names later. First, stop using the word final. Final, 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 cover, fix. You never know when you're on your final design or final iteration of your video or export or anything. Even after you send it to print, you don't even know it's final. That thing could come back. The client might have a change. There might be a last minute typo that everyone finds. It's never final. Instead, start using versions. The way that I do it is I pretty much add a V and a number to the end of every version of my document. So if it's the first version, I'll literally put V1 at the very end or V01 might even be better for file structures. Then after that, every single addition that I make to that project is V2, V3, V4, V5, all the way down. That way I know whatever the latest number is, is the most recent version of my project. Now maybe you have two completely different versions of the project that you wanna keep track of. So instead of using V for version, you could split it up, like make different letters, different versions of it. Maybe one version's in color and the whole thing's in color and that's a major shift and another one's black and white. The color version is A, one, two, three, four. The black and white version is B, one, two, three, four. And then once the client picks that direction, you can just go forward from there and be like, all right, we're just doing B from here on out until the very end of the project. This allows you to not only sort of do a little version control, just in case, for instance, that latest version becomes corrupt, you can just go back one version. It also allows you to keep track of what the latest rendition of the project is. And anybody that's working and coming back to that is gonna know, hey, B07, that's the final version or the most recent version of the project. It just makes it so much better. Quit using the word final. This next one's a big one. It's a bit of a pet peeve of mine. Use hyphens not underscores. There's a big reason here. There's two big reasons, really. Number one is SEO. Google itself recommends you use hyphens. Google sees hyphens as spaces. So if you have a multi-word or phrased out file name, the spaces or hyphens are recognized by Google, which makes it better for search engine optimization. And if Google recommends it and you wanna show up in Google search results, you best use what Google recommends. So space out everything with hyphens, every different word, version, everything like that. Use hyphens between your words. The other big reason is speed time it takes to change that file name. Go ahead and try, go, go to the file name that you have an underscore in and try to double click on one of the words. It's gonna highlight everything that's connected with underscores. Replace those with hyphens, double click on one of the words and it just selects what's in between the hyphens, which means you can just double click a word, change it really quick and then move on. Now, if you have phrases that are gonna be linked together within your file name, what I would do is just throw in some underscores with those linked together phrases. So you don't have to double click on each word individually, but you could just double click on sort of that phrase, change it, and then have all those hyphens connect everything else together. Google will see the underscores and the hyphens both as spaces and separate those words, but it allows you to save time when naming and renaming files. Let's just get used to this. Five, 10, 15, 20 seconds throughout your day times five years of being a designer, that's a lot of time saved. Two more quick tips. I always use lowercase for consistency. And if I ever need to add a date to something, I'll do it in the very beginning of the file name and I'll go year, month, day. That allows everything to be organized by date. And most of the time, I'll pretty much not even need the year because I'll keep in my folder structure a year. And within that year, if I'm doing dates, I'll just do month and day. But make sure that you use both the digits in the month and the day. So even if it's, let's say it's March right now, I would put zero three and then it's the 30th. So then three zero hyphen three zero. The reason for that is because a lot of times 10 would show up before three zero three will show up before 10. 
you know, March comes before October, so you would want March to show up first. So make sure you add in that 03. Same thing with the versioning at the end. Instead of just V1, try V01. All right, guys, those are my tips for file naming. If you guys have any different ways that you name your files, let me know in the comments down below. These are hopefully gonna help you out and hopefully gonna help me out. So maybe somebody that I work with will watch this video and name their files the way that I want them to be named. Saves me a lot of time, it's good for SEO, and we're done using the word finally. I'm Spencer from Pixel and Bracket. I'll see you guys next time.